Can you beat Rosarito as the golem? Now, I have started with the ghost axe, which means I want to uh, use up and abuse the golem's passive, as in uh, getting more max health and getting more armor. And you may ask, how is the ghost axe going to help me? No, it's not going to help me. I need something completely different. Of the ghost variety, I need the ghost scepter, and there it is. Let's make sure we lock it. Now, the Ghost Scepter gives me max health, right? Right. But it is pretty weak, right. So, what's the deal? What's the catch? Well, the catch is, you say, I gain maximum health, yeah, faster, right? That's not gonna make me stronger, right? Right. But I get maximum movement speed and maximum attack speed whenever I am below half health. And which is how we're going to absolutely destroy the game. So I need to stack myself at attack speed, I need to stack movement speed, I need to reach uh, um, below 50% health, and then just uh, kite the enemies. They're not gonna reach me. Never. <coughs> and once I have uh, enough base attack speed, enough base movement speed, I will just need to stack up a lot of damage. And a lot, a lot. Come on, die, 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 I fail. No, no, no. Very unfortunate. Melee damage, luck. I do need a little bit of luck. Uh, simply because uh, there are some decent items which give you maximum health, mind you. But uh, they are locked behind having a little bit more luck. Or rather, they're not locked, but uh, there's no chance I'm, I'm going to get them. Essie Scouch, anyone? I need that. But that's actually not gonna help me right now, because I, as a golem, cannot regain health. Nice, and we got quite a bit of speed there. And crit, and the discounts, yes. And another ghost scepter. I think we're progressing very nicely. Okay, um, do I want to combine, or do I want to toss? I think I want to toss the axes and just be done with them forever. So now, a bit of a problem. The ghost scepter itself does little to no damage. Now, there are ways to actually deal with that. Well, you can, you can get your base to range damage. Yes, that's going to be probably the best thing ever. And you can also wail of this guy's so passive and get a lot of attack speed, which is something I'm doing right now. And now I have much more attack speed and much more movement speed. Fantastic. Now, enemies can't actually touch me. Another thing is to get the piercing. There are several items that give you piercing. Uh, one of them is... <coughs> actually unique. The other one is um, somehow more rare than uh, a lot of the other things. Somehow. I don't know why it works. Ooh, yes, another one. Ah, yes, yes, yes. So, Alien Eyes is one item that deals damage based on my maximum health, and I am going to have a lot of that. So, let's get Alien Eyes. Okay. Uh, so, the game plan for this guy. We just exist. Exist, just don't go anywhere, just exist. Wait for enemies to deal enough damage to you to activate your uh, trap card. And once they activate your trap card, any minute now, and you just run away. And they can't touch you. And you win. You win by losing halfway through. Alright, and we get nothing. Crit. And yes, get the alien eyes, get the maximum damage. And what do I want explosion? Do I want crit chance? I think I want crit chance. Minus max health though is a bit painful. <clears throat> okay, and now that we have down, and we have plus nine max health. Look at max, max health. 70. 82. All right, that's good. And regeneration critical chance. Let's take crit. Wave eight. So in this way, we're going to start getting a lot of these big enemies. And yes, they start to hurt. They hurt. They're pretty bad. But the wave 9 is going to be absolutely amazing, because I have my six ghost scepters. Enemies don't have that. Right? Right. And the wave 9 has uh, an amazing property. Lots of white enemies who, who, who die in one hit. And I will stack a lot of max health there. Well, at least one. I really hope for just one max up. I will be very satisfied, very honest with you, because my ghost scepters are not actually all that upgraded. Yeah. 
that's a bit of a problem actually because not only they don't do damage they don't fierce but uh, they, they also don't stack health very very quickly knockback well, let's take that uh, attack speed let's take that i'd like to take um ooh, yes range damage like that Ooh, look at us seriously look at this why are there three of them i mean i'm not that happy anyway or anything i'm in fact very satisfied all right um i th I think I'm gonna combine like two of them. So now I actually one shot the basic enemies and it is wonderful. And because I have upgraded the second scepter to purple, I have a chance to get quite a lot of max health here. And let's not die to these though. That is a possibility. I have no way to regain my health. I can only get maximum health. Ow, oh, my health, my health, my health. I am in danger. Now, I wonder how much health did I get. Like, I got like 10 or 20 or something. Ooh, dodge. Oh, that's good. And we, we are back to six Ghost Scepters. Which is the best. And look at us. As the item. So, projectile pierce through one additional target, but less piercing damage would take that. A reason for it, there is an other item that actually negates the, the negative on us. And also we got engineering. The pocket factory. This is a, one of the items that, uh, yeah, I always want that item, but I usually never get it on the run that, you know, I need it on, like big, big trees run. Like, uh, you know, explore, you just take the pocket factory and you sit back and relax because your turrets destroy trees, which create more turrets, which just, which just destroys more trees and then kills all the enemies and just eventually the round ends and you get uh, paid. Yes. All right, we've done, and we got the range. Oh, do we get damage? Let's go damage. Hmm. Ooh, max health. And look at us, the item that we need to negate the bullets. And this item can be gotten however many times you want, provided you actually get it. Because it's not unique and it's amazing. All right, we got two crates out of this wave and, uh, yeah, the useless item. And armor well setting still, this is good. Now life still, yeah, useless. Engineering, useless. Attack speed though, attack speed is pretty decent. All right. Let's see, damage and crown, damage and crown. Let's go with damage, lots and lots of damage. Attack speed while standing still. Minus enemy speed, I can't afford the statue just now. Ooh, go scepter. Oh, I, th I think we're cooking here. And yeah, the... the oh, well, that's 12 damage. You do 12 damage, you do 12 damage. Something here is doing 12 damage. What is that? I have no idea. Whatever. <coughs> All right, we have uh, a less than 50 health. We're moving so quick. We're attacking so quick. We get another big damage. Yes. And our uh, wave is done. Let's see. I got like, I got like 20 health out of that. Ooh, yes. Yes, yes. Cool beans. We are doing a lot of damage. So, 22, 29. Yeah, but the attack speed is absolutely massive. So, as always, just stand in the middle, take a lot of damage, and defeat the enemies. Strategy right there. Uh, why am I not taking damage? Yeah, I'm experiencing a bit of a problem. I'm killing enemies too quickly. I'm not uh, activating my passive. Um, come on, big enemies. Do you think big enemies? Seriously. Why so weak? Uh-huh, okay. So now I can just uh, go chase after these uh, bonus enemies. Okay. Done one. Oh, I got, uh, I got two crates. I didn't get a level out of this though, but uh, I got three crates. Hold on. Uh, damage against bosses and elites. We take that. A piggy bank is very useful. Damage, damage, eh, sure, let's say that. And uh, what they want? Uh, heals. I don't think the turret is gonna work on because uh, of my passive. Oh, range damage. Yes, we'll take that. Two range damage, we'll take that, and that's it. I am not taking damage. Hold on. Why is that happening? This is not right. All 
right? Attack speed. This is pretty good. And slow enemies. I can now slow enemies. I can have a lot of movement speed. What is this run? This is amazing. Ah, look at us. I mean, this is better than Etsy's cache. Much better. All right, we've done. And we have luck. And we have um, global suction forever. Very good. And we have dodge while standing in explosion signs, which unlock the tech because I don't need it. Haha. -ha. Look at that attack speed. This is amazing. So I have the statue. Something tells me that uh, just by having this statue, I have increased my DPS uh, very dramatically. And also now, I need to reduce my health to, my, to below 50% to have even more attack speed. And most importantly, look at maximum health we're getting. Every like 7 seconds or so. <laughs> For as long as there are enemies on the screen. Holy cow, this is good. Like, for example, if I were to go for infinite with this, how far can I get? How much health will I have at the end is the most important thing here. Of course, big enemies are not dying, which is a bit of a problem. I may have to move. I don't like moving, but I may have to. Okay, I got like 20 health there. This is good. Ranged. Ghost Scepter. Okay. Another Ghost Scepter. And we're increasing our DPS drastically. Lock and range damage. Yes. Holy cow. Yeah, I can just stand still. Seriously. <clears throat> How much stats do I have? I have one entire, entire one armor. I'm getting plus 33% armor, but I have an, an entirely one. But I have maximum dodge, so I think that's, uh, that's actually working. I'll probably have to move at some stage. But this is good. This is very promising. So I am taking a lot of damage. Like, I'm almost dead here. Ooh, max health. Look at us. Crit shots. Yes, 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 yes. More damage. Now, I think the main problem here is going to be my lack of just base damage. Just straight up base damage. If I get enough base damage to be able to one-shot enemies, like the basic ones, with a single attack, I automatically win and get infinite amount of health. Alright, and we got another wave, and we got melee damage and max health. Max health is good, take that. Less enemies who don't like that. Uh, more range and more attacks with yes, please. Go set to don't need that. Plus range damage, plus range damage, and plus the dodge, don't need dodge. <coughs> now, because I have piercing, standing in the corner is actually a very good idea. I have max. Ooh, I'm taking a lot of health. Health damage, no, 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 no. Let's not stand still. Very bad idea. I, I changed my mind. I need more base damage. I desperately, desperately need more base damage, but I have locked two base damage items, and I'm sure that's going to help me a little bit. Alright. Um, ooh, oh, attack speed. We can take that. Damage, damage. Um, okay, no damage. Ooh, alien eyes. Another one. I want that. And we have Wave Pensei, the end. Now look at this alien eyes. This is going to do so much damage if you buy just a bunch of them. I haven't even upgraded my Ghost Scepter to full, so I'm not even as strong as I can be. But that's not important. Hey, hello there, boss. Uh, how do you like my uh, green stuff? And the damage is actually pretty nice. Not going to lie, it is actually pretty nice because... Uh, Ghost Scepter, if you give it a little bit of attack speed, actually starts shredding. And uh, I actually don't care too much about damage, because uh, I will get... I'll hit that passive, passive range, minus uh, less than 50% health, and I will be doing even better than I'm doing, than I'm doing now. Uh, let's just hug, hug the boss. Hug the boss. Hello, boss. Okay, that was painful. Don't do that again. 
But uh, my DPS, my DPS is uh, on the match. Die, 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 die. Aha. Uh -huh. Nice. And we have unlocked the uh, stone skill. Max health for every armor. And I have negative 10 armor somehow. Uh, how do I have negative 10 armor? Can somebody tell me that? Okay. Minus armor right there. Minus all oh, this thing is right. Where's the minor, minus armor? Surely my. Ah, another one. That's it. Oh, yeah, this is a very good item. It is unique, right? Well, it is very powerful. Max help for every armor. And the. Uh, yeah, there are clans that actually benefit from armor more than this guy. Because he just gets more armor. And there's Knight. Knight class. Who just uh, scales damage with armor. So now with armor, that class is going to also scale max health. Which is amazing. And uh, if you're watching this far. Uh, why are you not subscribed? And if you're subscribed, thank you for watching this far and uh, write in the comments a uh, stone skin. And that's how I know that you watch till the end. And see you in the next one.